Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is t to the power of 3 over 2 equals 3 to the power of 3 over 2. We are solving for all values of t that satisfies this equation. Now, the first step will be for us to factor out this 3 and also factor out this 3. So what we are going to have will be this is t to the power of this is 3 times 1 over 2. And this equals 3 to the power of 3 times 1 over 2. Now, let's consider this identity if you have a to the power of n times m. This equals a to the power of n or to the power of n. And this equals a to the power of m or to the power of n. So, the 3 here is our m and this half is on my m, the same thing here, n and this is n. Based on this part of the identity, then we are going to use this other identity in order to apply here. So the n is now inside the bracket and the n is outside. That means we are going to have t power 1 over 2 and the 3 is now outside based on this identity. And this equals, we do the same thing here, 3 power 1 over 2. And this is raised to the power of 3. Now, don't forget the fact that if you have x power 1 over 2, this equals square root of x. So we apply the same thing right here. And here, we have square root of t to the power of 3 equals square root of 3 to the power of 3. So we move this over here. And what we are going to have will simply be square root of t to the power of 3 minus square root of 3 to the power of 3 and this equals 0. Now there's power 3 here, there's power 3 here, there's minus m. And we need to expand this using this identity. If you have a power 3 minus b power 3, this equals a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b to the power of 2. And in this case, my a equals root t and b equals root 3. So applying this right here, we're applying this rule identity, that means we are simply going to have a minus b, b will be root t minus root 3 times a squared, that is root t to the power of 2 plus a b, that's root t times root 3 plus b squared, that is root 3, to the power of 2, this equals 0. So from here, what we are going to have will be root t minus, this is root 3, times this cancel this, I have t plus root t times root 3, that is square root of 3t plus this cancel this, we have 3, and this equals 0. At this particular point, I'm going to equate each of these to 0. I have root t minus root 3 equals 0, and also I have t plus square root of 3t plus 3 equals 0. I move this, and then I move this over here. So I simply have root t minus root 3 equals 0. So for us to solve this, we move this over here. That means we have root t equals root 3. Square root here cancel square root here. I have t equals 3. This is my t1. Now let's solve this quadratic equation to find, it's not even quadratic yet. So what we need to do is to solve it. It's not quadratic yet. We move this t over here and also move the 3 over here. So we have square root of 3t equals this is minus 3 when it crosses over. And for this, this is minus t. A square root here, for us to eliminate the square root, we take the squares of put part of this equation. This cancel this, I have 3t equals, this is negative 3 minus t, times negative 3 minus t. So right now, what we are going to do, will simply be for us to have 3t equals negative 3 times negative 3, that is 9, negative 3 times negative t. This is plus 3t, negative t times negative 3, plus 
3 t again, negative t times negative t plus t power 2. So from here, we have 3 t equals 9 plus 6 t plus t to the power of 2. So what we can do, we need to move this over here. We have 0 equals 9 plus 6 t plus t power 2 minus 3 t. 6 t minus 3 t, that is 3 t. We have 0 equals 9 plus 3 t plus t power 2. So let's rearrange this equation starting with t squared. Of t squared plus 3 t plus 9 equals 0. So we solve this for values of t. Then we are going to make use of the formula method. We have t equals negative p plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2 a. 1 is the coefficient of t squared, that is my a. 3 is my b. 9 is my c. I'm going to insert it right here. Of t equals negative b. B is 3, so I have negative 3 plus or minus square root of b squared 3 over 2 minus 4 times a, 1 times c, 9 divided by 2 times a, that is 1. From here, I have t equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of 3 squared, that is 9 minus 4 times 1, 4, 4 times 9. This will give you 36. And this is divided by 2 times 1. That is 2. From here we have t equal to is negative 3 plus or minus 36 square root of negative 27. 9 minus 36 negative 27 divided by 2. And this equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of negative 1 times square root of 27. And this is divided by 2. So from here we have t equals negative 3 plus or minus i times Square root of negative 1 is i times square root of 27. You can express it as 9 times 3 divided by 2. From here, t equals negative 3 plus or minus i times square root of 9. This is 3 root 3 divided by 2. So right now, I can decide to factor r 3 over 2. From here, I can have 3 over 2 times negative 1 plus or minus i root 3. So I have two values for t, two complex values for t. I can have t2 equals 3 over 2 times negative 1 plus i root 3. And also have t3 equals 3 over 2 times negative 1 minus i root 3. These are the two complex solutions. We have one real solution which is t equals 3. Then what we can do again will be to insert these values for t. Remember our t equals 3. I can insert the value right here. That means I'm going to have 3 power 3 over 2 equals 3 power 3 over 2. Remember this identity, if you want to simplify it further, if you have a power m over n, this equals the n root of a to the power of m. So we apply the same thing here and here. So we have square root of 3 to the power of 3 equals square root of 3 to the power of 3. So this is square root of 3 power 3. This is 27 equals square root of this is 27. Left hand side equals right hand side. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Drop a comment in the comment box. Thank you and see you again.